Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in beautiful Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today is Lenny Chessel. He is the Chief Evangelist at IM Data Centers. Welcome, Lenny. Well, thank you so much, the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, tell us about IM Data Centers and your role, Chief Evangelist, that has my curiosity peaked. Have I peaked your yes. curiosity, yes. yes. So let's start. I am Data Centers. Um, it's been a work in progress. Actually, uh, Michael Rourke, our CEO, has been building data centers for about 25 years, built about a million square feet of data center space over those years, has had different projects. In fact, through those projects, he said, Lenny, come work for me. And I'm like, no. He said, but please come work for me. I'm like, no. And then back in November, he called me and said, hey, I think I got a big playground that you would really enjoy playing in. And he was right. And I play well with other kids in the sandbox. <laughs> so this was a fun place. Um, so we're, we're, we're building a portfolio of data centers in really two ways. Uh, we're buying uh, existing data centers and retrofitting them uh, with sort of the latest, greatest technologies really focused around sustainability, and we can get into the sustainability thing, uh, but we have today a 100,000 square foot facility in Miami, Florida, which historically, 22 years ago when I got in the co-location business, that's where I worked. So it was my first colo gig, data center gig, and history repeats itself and everything comes full circle. So I'm back where I started, and, uh, and it's a big playground. It's 100,000 square feet, and uh, it's an old, uh, it's a 100-year-old building, 54 feet above sea level, very, very cool. And we, um, we're going to put about $10 million into it. It's not just going to be a data center. It's going to be a place to meet, a place to hang out, a place to have fun, a place to come have Cuban coffee, maybe some music, we're going to do training. Uh, it's going to be artsy. It's going to be just badass. So actually, the second place is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which we're going tomorrow. And there we bought six acres of property. We are manufacturing in our Fort Lauderdale facility modular data centers, and not just containers. These are fully built out, customized modular data centers. Uh, we'll send 10 of those to Pittsburgh, and then in the third quarter, we'll turn up that facility with uh, 6,000 square feet, um, and that will be the first pod, and we'll be able to build up to 30,000 square feet there. Um, so if you look at the manufacturing in Fort Lauderdale, and you look at the Miami Data Center, and then Pittsburgh, so we're sort of the crossroads of what I consider Scarface and Mr. Rogers. <laughs> and a big climate change too. You're going to go yeah. to Pittsburgh after this. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, <laughs> well, tell me about how, if we can dig a little deeper into the solutions, you did a great overview of, of, of IM data centers and what you're about. How are you impacting the data center industry with these solutions? Well, I'm back in the business for starters. So that's, you know, <laughs> so I'm just by being here, I guess I'm perhaps impacting it because more people are laughing in the data center yeah. business now. Uh, more importantly, um, our investors are 100% focused on sustainability. Mm -hmm. And I mean, everything they do is around sustainability. So if you think about that, uh, using sustainable products, using sustainable processes, using sustainable partners. So throughout the entire supply chain, if you're not having a sustainable play in how we're going to build out data centers, you're not playing in our sandbox. So we're committed to that, we're deeply committed to that. Um, secondarily, we're taking, as in the case of the Miami Data Center, a brick and mortar facility, and we will retro that with the latest technologies in solar, we'll probably use microgrid stuff. Um, so, so regardless of whether it's a brick and mortar data center or the really awesome technology that we're using in the modular data centers, they will all be built around sustainability and we're actually going to be uh, contributors in an upcoming book about sustainability and data Yes, centers. very exciting yes. opportunity. Yeah, yes. I'm glad you're part of it. Yeah, That's we're great. Excited to be there. Um, so if you just look at data centers as a global business, they use 1% of all of the world's energy. So even if we just start with one data center and we start to move that trend in the right direction, I almost get the little goosebumpy thing because that excites me because I've got grandkids and I want the world to still be around. Yeah. So, so, all right, so the trends, uh, so, you know, the sustainability is a big one. Um, and there's a lot of movement in repatriating data sets and repatriating workloads mm -hmm. from the cloud, the promise of the cloud delivered for a while, but sprawl, um, being able to manage, uh, uptime guaranteed promises, um, security issues, transport issues, costs that people didn't expect, have really created an opportunity for data center operators to provide solutions for the repatriation of data sets. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, edge. 
So you've got all the work that I think one of your clients is doing uh, with a lot of edge stuff, right, and wireless. And so if you look at the requirement to bring data center, really the security of a data center to the edge, how do you do that? You're not going to put a brick and mortar building up. So our modular data centers work really well in the space of bringing the data center to the edge for those, for those providers. So there's a big service provider aspect uh, to the data center modular data center business. That's <laughs> a lot to say, it yes. It is a lot. After 30 days, I've just been drinking from this fire hose <laughs> of words. Well, lots of exciting stuff coming from IM data centers and being a huge contributor in the entire ecosystem, bringing people together as these trends emerge and evolve. So uh, we want to follow the latest from IM data centers. Where can our viewers go to learn more? Oh, you can go right here to JSA TV. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. um, don't go to the website yet, because it's not done yet. So wait a little bit. So depending on when this airs, it might be up and it might not be up, but imdatacenters.com, imcritical.com, which is the website for our modular data center business. Or find you on LinkedIn. So I'm a LinkedIn guy. Okay. I live on LinkedIn. I actually don't have a home. I live in LinkedIn. <laughs> Find Lenny on LinkedIn. Now, thank you. I know it was a huge commute. You live in Miami. It was a huge commute. This was really difficult for me. Um, but if I can, in closing, yes. are we done? Mm -hmm. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be kind to our earth. Thank you, Lenny. Well said. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Always a joy. Enjoy the show, and thanks for joining us. My pleasure. All mine. <laughs> and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.